Dr. Ariane here from The Movement Paradigm. Today I wanted to talk about how you can consciously tap into the power of your vagus nerve to trigger your sense of inner calm and reduce inflammation in your body. Before I jump in, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Ariane Mistimer, and don't forget to hit that alert button to stay tuned for new content every week. Before we get into nine different ways that you can improve your vagal tone, let's talk about the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is also referred to as the wandering nerve in Latin because it begins in the brainstem and then it wanders and has multiple branches to the heart, to the viscera, and many other organs. It is one of the longest nerves in the body and it is 80% of our parasympathetic nervous system also referred to as our rest and digest system. In 1921, a German physiologist named Otto Lowry discovered that when you stimulate the vagus nerve, that it triggers a release of acetylcholine. Why is that important? Because acetylcholine is like a drug, a tranquilizer, that we have the power to tap into at any point through slow, long, deep breaths, focusing on a long exhalation. So when we have a high vagal tone or healthy vagal tone, that is indicative that when you inhale, you have a slight increase in your heartbeat. And when you exhale, you have a slight decrease in your heartbeat. It is also associated with a better physical and mental well-being. Conversely, if you have a low vagal tone, this is associated with inflammation, with heart disease, with stroke, with uh, poor psychological well-being and much more. Now let's get into nine different ways that you can stimulate your vagus nerve to improve your vagal tone. Number one, cold exposure. So research shows that acute cold exposure will activate the cholinergic neurons that are part of the vagus nerve pathways and it stimulates the vagus nerve. So it's recommended to try to do cold showers. So at the end of your shower, do 30 seconds of cold water and try to do that consistently over time, which that will in turn decrease your fight or flight or your sympathetic pathways. Number two is deep, slow breathing. So as it relates to diaphragmatic breathing, you wanna make sure that as you're inhaling, you're getting that full expansion of your abdomen 360 degrees. And the key is the slow part and also the long exhale. So you could start with a tempo of, let's say three seconds in, three seconds out. And then you begin to lengthen your exhalation and as well as your inhalation as you progress with your breath practice. The slower the exhale is going to stimulate the vagus nerve and also create that relaxation response that we're seeking. So especially in times of stress and anxiety, this should be definitely a go-to. Number three is chanting, singing, humming, gargling. So these are great ways to stimulate the vagus nerve because the muscles of the vocal cords are connected to the vagus nerve as well. So this is a great way to improve vagal tone and decrease heart rate variability, excuse me, increase heart rate variability, which is a sign of a healthy nervous system. Number four is probiotics. So there's two specific strains, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, that are directly related to the gut-brain connection, specifically as it relates to mood, anxiety, and depression. So this is directly linked to the vagus nerve as well. And it has been shown that by taking probiotics, this can improve vagal tone and vagal stimulation. Number five is meditation. This is a great way to improve vagal tone and also decrease your stress response and improve your mindfulness awareness over time. Number six is omega-3. So let's think about your fatty fish, your flaxseed, your walnuts. So these are great foods that can help with actually improving vagal tone and can also really help with overall mental health and cognitive decline if there is any. 
So make sure to eat your fatty fish on a regular basis so you can make sure you get the appropriate amount of omega-3s. Number seven is massage. So make sure you get that regular massage to enhance vagal activity, improve vagal tone. Things like foot to reflexology is a great way to stimulate the vagus nerve. And there are also other ways that you can do that as well. But if not, just make sure to get your regular massage. Number eight, exercise. Movement is such a powerful way to improve your vagal tone, to be more connected, to enhance your sense of happiness. So make sure to exercise, make sure to include things that you enjoy, and make sure that it's a, a big part of your life. Number nine, socializing and laughing is such a great way to improve mood and really enhance overall well-being. And that, of course, is happening by enhancing the vagal activity and once again, improving overall vagal tone. So make sure that despite the current circumstances in the world, you're able to connect with people, socialize and laugh and enjoy life as much as possible. So there you have it, nine different ways that you can improve your vagal tone to really make sure that you're more connected to the world, you're enhancing your physical and mental well-being, and you're living life to the fullest. So thank you so much as always for joining, and please make sure to hit that like button if you felt like this was helpful, share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to Dr. Ariane Missimer and make sure that you hit the alert button to stay tuned for content. All right, thank you, and as always, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.